This video will show you how to make use of the definition of continuity of a function at a point to make a function continuous. We are given a function h of x equal to a times x squared minus 9 for x less than or equal to 3 or equal to 1 minus absolute value of x plus b for x greater than 3. So this is a piecewise function. It's divided into two parts for x less than 3 and x greater than 3. We are going to find the values of a and b such that the function is continuous at x equal to 3 since x equal to 3 is the dividing point. First, we must recall when is a function continuous. A function f of x is continuous at x equal to c when 1. f of c is defined. That means you substitute x equal to c into the function and you get a finite number. Number 2. Limit of f of x when x approaching c exists and this is a finite number. Number 3. Limit of f of x when x approaches c is equal to f of c. In fact, the last condition also include the first and second condition. Translate this definition to our problem now. h of x is continuous at x equal to 3 since the point we're interested is 3 now when h of 3 is defined which has no problem seeing with no h of 3 is equal to 0 here since h3 is equal to a times 3 squared minus 9 which is 0 by looking at the function h of x. Second point, limit of h of x when x approaching 3 exists. And third point, limit of h of x when x approach 3 must equal h at 3. Now the second point is our concern now. In order for limit of h of x as x approach 3 exists, we must have limit from the left of 3 and limit from the right of 3 equal and the must equal to h at the point 3. Let's investigate the limits as x approach 3 from the left. Since x approach 3 from the left, so the function behave like a times x squared minus 9. So when x approaching 3, this will behave like a times 3 squared minus 9, and 3 squared minus 9 is 0, so it's a times 0, and that is 0. Let's look at the limits from the right 3. When x approach 3 from the right, h of x will behave like 1 minus absolute value of x plus b. So this is equal to 1 minus absolute value of x plus b. When x approaching 3, this will give you 1 minus absolute value of 3 plus b. Now, we don't know what is b, but we are going to find out here. Since the limit from the left and limit from the right are equal, and limit from the left, we find that this is a times 0. Let's look at here. Limit from the left, I have a times 0. Which is, which is 0, and limit from the right, I have 1 minus absolute value of 3 plus b. This two limit must be equal. So I get a times 0 equal to 1 minus absolute value of 3 plus b. That means 0 equal to 1 minus absolute value of 3 plus b. Rearrange them, we get absolute value of 3 plus b is equal to 1. Now recall, if you have absolute value of 3 plus b equal to 1, so 3 plus b must be equal to 1, or 3 plus b is equal to minus 1. That means b is equal to 1 minus 3, or b equal to minus 1 minus 3. So b equal to minus 2, or b equal to minus 4. So we find the value of b. How to find the value of a then? 
again the limit from the left of 3 and limit from the right of 3 must equal for this function h of x and limit from the left is a times 0 and limit from the right is 1 minus absolute value of 3 plus b but for b equal to minus 2 or b equal to minus 4 1 minus absolute value of 3 plus b is 0 so we end up a times 0 equals 0 so what is a now? a is 3 any row number a will give a times 0 equal to 0 so a can be any number so in conclusion h of x will be equal to a times x squared minus 9 for x less than equal to 3 and a is any number n is equal to 1 minus absolute value of x plus b for x greater than 3 and b can only take value of minus 2 minus 4 so that h of x is continuous at x equal to 3 that's the end of the recording.